Hi guys, welcome back to my rabbit hole of K-pop. I'm Atomic Rabbit. I had almost forgotten about the fact that Key also has some MVs. Now I've found three. I also included a behind the scenes, I believe for a magazine photo shoot that came out, if I remember correctly, Cosmopolitan, that came out when he got out of the army. So this is gonna be a short intermezzo. If there's more for Key, MVs, music, uh, feel free to let me know, but I'll probably incorporate those when I start looking further into Shiny, which will be in a while, because it will be after 17. And for 17, I still have a lot of stuff. And before that, we still have NCT and Monster X. So it's going to be a while, but it'll be here. Thank you for your patience. Let's get into keys and V's and the behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to the other two songs and then go from there. Sweet. Oh, oh wait, that's the rapper from Idol. I'm not 
Now what? Stuck in the desert. Before getting into this, uh, and before I forget my thoughts, he has such a beautiful face. His features are just perfect. He just looks sculpted. He's He is so beautiful, but he also has such a unique face and such a unique expression, like constant expression. Could call it resting bitch face, but Yosan from 80s has that as well. Both of them have those really, really beautiful faces that, that look sculpted, that look unreal, and that in a normal resting state look like they're not moving, like they're constantly judging you, which is absolutely not the case. So, so beautiful. I don't know what kind of music I expected for Key, but listening to these three songs sort of makes me think about about how how do i say this it's like it's another point of the five point star that makes up for shiny's discography it's like i'm hearing that specific part from shiny's discography and i'm discovering that that is key's input in his uh or in the group's sound because shiny also has these kind of songs as far as i've discovered that are a bit more bouncy and vibey and fun and colorful and and there's also songs that have this part in them that's another thing and to me it feels like a perfect combination of sounds and of genre because it feels like music that was made to make you feel good like absolutely feel good music like the thought behind it was i want to give people a feel good feeling like they're drinking bubble tea whatever the season whatever the moment of the day that's the feeling that i'm getting from this and what i love specifically is that key's voice is kind of edgy he has a very unique tone and it's yeah it's it's a bit edgy so it might be a bit sharp but when he sings it's also soft so it's edgy and soft combined with the kind of dance vibe it works so well and there's nice rhythms to it and it just flows and it just shows so much of who he is as a person and the outfits and the styling of course is on point i wouldn't have expected any less because it's key let's get into the uh, behind the shoot yeah cosmopolitan maybe um Look at that face. I am so intrigued by my bias line, like the people that I feel that connection with, that are my connection to the group, the people that I have that first initial vibe with, like, yes, you're the reason I can connect with this group because you're that person that, I don't know, my anchor or something, that's that's how I consider biases and Key is one of them. And if I just look at all of these people that make up for my bias line in every group, I am so intrigued by it because for some reason they're all very different, but they're also, they have similar kind of qualities. And there's a few that have that specific sense of humor that Key also has, but they're also very, very beautiful. Sometimes it just, baffles me and sometimes it also makes me wonder how empty my life was before k-pop these outfits
뭐해? 이런 기회 없어. 뭐안 물어본다. 오. 큐트. 11월호 기업입니다. 그냥 늘 잡지에서만 모습을 보여줬던 저의 모습을 오랜만에 여러분들 보여드릴 수 있는 그런 촬영이었던 것 같은데 이렇게 다양한 모습을 보여드릴 수 있어 오랜만에 하니까 옛날 기억이 좀 살아나는 것 같기도 하면서 자주 이런 모습 보여드려야겠다는 생각도 좀 들고 있어요. I know there is much more content. I know there is a lot of variety content as well for key, for shiny members in general. Um, but that is one of those things that for me right now, I, I don't have the space of mind to go look into that and go make a timeline or a playlist or something that collects all of that. I certainly would want to watch it and me doing, sharing, this whole, well, hot book of my discovery in K-pop gives me the opportunity to go look into that, to actually sit down and watch it because I'm recording it so I can't be distracted, which is nice. So I really would want to get into that. But those are the kinds of things that need more preparation time for me. And right now, what I mostly want to do is just get ahead and get through at least the MVs for the groups that I have to catch up for Shiny 2. So that right now for me is priority. And then once I am caught up with those groups, I will have more room for a couple of other groups that I have on my list to get into. Um, and variety stuff and different clips and weekly idol and interviews and such things. So I really want to watch that, but that will be for a later point. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing this for a long time. Um, because I, I, I just love being in this whole K-pop thing and discovering all of this and letting you join into the fun of me discovering it all. I hope you had a nice time on my virtual couch together with me. I will see you for the next one, whatever that may be.